Where am I? No, God! No, God, please, no! 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 I will never find another lover sweeter than you, sweeter than you. Oh, my life. I pray for someone like you. beloved we are gathered here today it's for a wedding today is a somber one we have lost a great soldier I don't really know what I want to do for this video honestly I went on my Twitter I went on my Instagram and I asked people like hey what are your guys' favorite moments of Scum Netherlands and there's really no shut up there's really no way that this video could bring anything back I know that it almost feels like Scum Netherlands and I broke up and I just want to look back on the good times. And that is why this video exists, because I want to live in my sorrow. And if you guys want to do that too, hi, here is your space. Welcome. Kick back. Invite some friends over. I certainly did. Uh, I'd love to introduce you to them. Uh, this is Thunder. This is Blueberry Soju. Drink responsibly. He shot that from his ass. Look at this talent. I don't know if this is something that you guys pay attention to, but the way characters are introduced, there are certain character introductions that I love. This is pretty awesome. In the Think about this, okay? In the entirety of Scum Netherlands, the very first thing Lucas has ever said is Bleh. Okay, mood. That's probably my first words coming out of the womb. I'll verify with my mom. Also in this shot, Lucas is standing in between the two of them and the two come apart and then he comes into the frame, sort of like foreshadowing into what he does later in the season, which is trying to get in between them. <laughs> ho, ho, ho. Oh my God, I forgot they played twice in this one. I would like to think that this is foreshadowing for Lucas's character, you know, just because how gay twice is. <laughs> It's a real Instagram! Look at that! Well, I guess that makes sense because they do make Instagram accounts. It's followed by Liv, too. You know what? To show our support for Scum Netherlands, if it helps at all, let's all follow that. Whoever's watching this and still wants it, let's follow that account. I'll give them a follow right now. There you go. Requ oh, requested? The account is private? Bro. Avocado boobs! And the bluest eyes in all of the land award. Go oh, you know what? And also the coolest socks in all the land award goes to Lucas. How can you not love this fucking girl? She lick. I forgot about this. This was when it happened. I mean, I remember that she did lick her phone at one point. I forgot it was the scene. She did it so many times. Just the one was already too much. She accidentally like a picture. What a talent. When she pre-games by herself, bitch. I'm pretty sure that's the first time Misa's ever been in love, and I I agree. And beautiful and talented, you forgot. It's okay. We're forgiving her because we love Isa in this house. Every shot that I see of Isa, I just want to take a picture of it and post it on Tumblr. Again, I just want to hit it home. Isa has no one. She doesn't even have her mom. She doesn't even have stockings that fucking cover her toes. Even her stockings checked out. Me finding out that Scum Netherlands is no longer. Oh, Me every time I'm faced with the consequences of all of my actions. He's reading a book called Norwegian Wood. I know that book. It's not by Haruki Murakami. It is. It's by Murakami. If this is a throwback to the original scum, hilarious. I see what you did there. Is it raining? Great. Fits my mood. 
I feel a homo joke coming. There it is. <gasps> Speaking of gay, that's how I start all of my stories. I always want to know what is at the end of that sentence. Every time someone starts a sentence with, hey, speaking of gay, I'm always there. I'm like, yeah, 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 yeah. Sh everyone, shut up. Shut up. What are you saying? <laughs> also, another thing to love about Isa, she encourages the gay. She encourages it. She's for it. She's like, let's all swallow a frankfurter together oh every time i see him it just makes me sad it is bullshit it's bullshit that he's not getting his season absolutely i agree are you seeing this right now are you seeing this fucking shot right now <laughs> knowing what we know that he's actually in love with guests it gives the scene a whole new meaning Oh my god, they played Frank Ocean. Oh, The way that Scum Netherlands sets a mood with music, with scenery. Also, can I just point out, like, the thoughtfulness in the shots that are being done here. If you look at the way that they're standing and how they are, you could have easily done a shot of them speaking, including the both of them in the frame. But the fact that there is distance between them because of this, the dishonesty that's happening and the fact that they don't trust each other and that they're in completely different places. They're having a conversation, they're close together, but it feels like they're worlds apart. When you put that kind of thoughtfulness into creating tension, into creating conflict without saying it because, you know, for fear of becoming too what's the word like exposition heavy with dialogue just outwardly saying i'm mad at you no what you do is you show the viewers this is how they're feeling this is the perspective of the character and now they're both in the shot because they've made up best part of any girl's day taking the bra off also can i just say that there must be some significance there too that she's finally relaxing and then once she's relaxed and she's feeling fine she checks up on Liv, as if to point out in a foreshadowy kind of way that she can maybe be her truest self when she's around her girls. I mean, hi, maybe. Yes! Oh my god. Do you know what I mean about Engo? She's just such a convincing character. Like, I am pretty sure I know this girl in real life or have known someone like her. Skamog chose to do slow-mos of the girls walking making them look cool scum netherlands slow-mo of the girls supporting each other as they puke out what is most probably the shittiest oldest pizza in the store friendship that starts this way man nothing can be stronger look at that they're so much closer now hey what do you <laughs> <laughs> and I can't believe the girl squad just got better. They just got better throughout. Going into the next few episodes, going into season two, the girl squad just got more and more amazing. The Dutch man, bro. <gasps> the French man. <laughs> okay, sure. Your friend. Got you, Yana. Iconic, brilliant, amazing, innovative, never thought of before, incredible, talent. Look at that. Oh, it's done. Oh, so short-lived. Just like the fucking show. That should tell you something. If a show as amazing as Freaks and Geeks during the time that it aired could get cancelled. United States of Terror was cancelled. I think it was produced, directed by Steven Spielberg. I could be wrong. And that it was written by Diablo Cody, writer of Jennifer's Body. Also Juno. I don't know why I didn't say that. But she also created Juno. I think it's because I have a bias towards Jennifer's Body. I really like that movie. Anyway, starred Tony Collette, one of the greatest actors of her generation, and it still got canceled. Brie Larson was in it. Fucking Captain Marvel was in it. She got discovered in that one. How did that show get canceled? It just happens. It happens to the best of shows. Show getting canceled does not define if it's good or not. It just means that shit fucking happens, bro. He's staring at her dress. He's thinking, oh, that would look really good in a frame on my wall. <laughs> Trust her to pick a song that just hits you hard as you walk. Like, that is a talent. Finding the right song to walk and emote in isa everybody they have dispensers for condoms bro 
Oh, for lube. For lube and condoms? That's just helpful. What's with your other look underwear? Interesting that she would ask that because she would soon find out in her season exactly what the answer is to that. Or answers, I mean. Oh my god, they play it out. This is something too that Scum Netherlands does. They go back and forth between reality and fantasy. Something that didn't really happen in Scum Mog. Something that I don't also see in all the other versions of Scum. Scum Netherlands does this so well without it looking like a parody. And this is gelukt. But... I know. When people come, other people don't say Kazuntite, so. Oh my god, you got need in the fucking vagina, bro. This girl went for the genitals. Like, you know how mad you have to be to fuck someone up in the vagina? Then what do you do? Thinking about what? Did you grow strong? That's awesome. Which over? Noah. Noah's a pretty easy name to remember. I'm, j I'm just saying, like, you can't forget that name. Like, it's a pretty easy name to remember. It's like two syllables with no. Ah. That's so fucked up. Oh. Oh, my heart is actually breaking. That's so sad. That sucks, man. The person you love tells you that they don't recognize you anymore. I'm getting emotional. Plus, Likili is playing Get Away From Me. Don't, no one touch me. I read somewhere that one of the reasons why this relationship is never going to work is because they're too dependent on one another. Like when it hurts to physically be away from someone, that that's a bad thing. But I would argue that that's a sentiment that could be extended to friendships as well. Like when I'm not with my best friend, sometimes it's not that I can't function, but there are days when his absence is very obvious to me and it hurts. Like, it physically affects me. Look at them screaming. This fucking scene is so meaningful because it's them just, like, being themselves, being supportive of one another, and then Mystery of Love plays because what the fuck is love? And also call me by your name, but also what the fuck is it? Even at that age, you don't know. Even at my age, I don't understand what it is. It's such a random feeling of, like, you see someone and then you just decide in that moment there will come a point in your friendship or whatever relationship you have where you just go this is the one i'm in love with this is the one that i want to go on adventures with and have romantic time with and hold the hand of and kiss from time to time one of the things that i appreciate about scum and seeing it in all of these different variations too is just knowing how to say slut in so many different languages that's okay okay do what you want to do. Maar het is echt niets voor jou. Wat is het nou voor fucking gezeik dat iedereen de hele tijd zit te zeggen wie ik ben? Ik heb wel zoveel wat voor type ik ben. The amount of talent that just jumped at me, I was left speechless. There are moments like this, you know what's really amazing too is like you'll have scenes like that where the characters are very expressive and they say lines that lend themselves really well to who the character is, what's going on with them, and then they juxtapose that with a scene of Milkshake by Khalees playing and these girls just be being very childish and blowing into their milkshakes. It adds lightness and some sort of levity to this a whole theme that's going on. I think she actually got a pier- Did she actually get a piercing for this scene? Ah! Oh! I'm so inspired by this, I get a piercing right now. <laughs> She's like, but you can swallow a frankfurter better than I can. Speaking of gay. Oh. from First I was afraid. How is that the editing of the breakup scene, just putting all of these scenes, piecing it together that way instead of like a straightforward, just them talking, just them fucking, whatever the hell. Because it's pieced together no longer in chronological order, 
it feels like a dream and ultimately that's what makes this sad is because they're breaking up and this is one of their last moments together so it's soon gonna fade out and be just another memory I think that you need to be a member of this push First of all, what is this on Tumblr? I don't know what that is. That looks like fan art of him. So that's strange. On that note, I think this is a good place to leave and end this video. I don't know what else to say for final thoughts because every thought that I have on Scum Netherlands is a final thought because there are no other episodes. There are no, it's nothing. It's done. The cord has been cut. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, felt emotional uh, with me as we took this roller coaster ride back into the beautiful mess that is season one. I thoroughly enjoyed myself. I am sleepy right now. That definitely is the sun. Join me next time as I go into season two harder than ever. Let me leave you with some wise words. Never say milady, ever, unless it's ironically.